صبر ان اسلام از ٹو ڈو دی اٹ موسٹ دیٹ یو کین ڈو ان اینی سچویشن اٹ از ٹو ڈو دی الٹیمیٹ اینڈ دین ٹو آسک اللہ سبحان And hold firmly to the rope of Allah altogether and do not become divided. And remember the favor of Allah upon you. When you were enemies and he brought your hearts together and you became, by his favor, brothers. And you were on the edge of a pit of the fire and he saved you from it. Thus does Allah make clear to you his verses that you may be guided. Surat Ali Imran 3.103 O servants of Allah, brothers, each Muslim is the brother of a Muslim. You forgive each other for the sake of Allah. You love each other for the sake of Allah. And a true brotherhood in Islam is not knowing that your brother is going to be a brother. But you feel it, akhi. You see, you know, when I'm going down, I'm feeling really, really down. When I'm really missing my mum because she's not around no more. The brothers don't even need to hear it from my voice, bro. The brothers here, they call me. I'm just checking up on you, eh? That's true, bro, for me. I haven't even opened my mouth. I haven't even showed them that I'm going through a struggle. But brotherhood is a feeling, bro. And then you continue it by with your actions. You continue with your etiquettes and your manners. That's true, brotherhood, eh? Who's your Lord? Where is your deed? Die to the Prophet والسلام, you're part of his, his country, you're, you're equally valuable to everyone there. And if you are mistreated, then he will move an army for you. That was the message that the people of Medina took from you. That lifted the world. People felt valuable, they felt that they belonged, and that's why, they, that's why Islam spread so quickly and so, and, and so vastly in every direction after he died. Because people felt that this, they felt ownership over what Islam was because the Prophet made sure they did. And he wanted to teach the Sahaba to start taking responsibility for the deen on their own. Well, if we start off with that from the Quran, um, Ayah 49 in Surah 10, um, the believers are, believers are but a single brotherhood. And I think this is really apt and it's really important. When we talk about um, you know, us, as, us as Muslims, you know, we're not kind of disconnected people, we yeah. are connected. In the same way, I think that you know, when, we talk, when we look at our own siblings and things like that, you know, that's the kind of connection that we should have with everybody yeah. else around us. Because we have a natural affinity and a natural relationship with our um, siblings. But again, when we think about kind of the Islam which connects us all, that's something that we should you know, try to mirror you know, in our relationship. Yeah. I think it's, we, we, you know, we, we talk about brotherhood, we talk about sisterhood, we talk about these things, and they can become quite generic terms. But I think we really need to understand what it means when you say to someone, you're my sister, you know, what kind of rights and responsibilities that person, you know, then has, a, you know, that, you know, you have um, upon that person as well. A hadith kind of just pops up in my mind about how um, Allah will shade um, two persons who love each other for the sake of Allah. Yeah. And loving each other for the sake of Allah, that itself is very heavy as well. Absolutely. And SubhanAllah is, I believe, the love of Allah. Knowing that we're connected that way and also because, you know, we, we want to be in each other's lives. Am I going to Mecca and going into the Muslim world, into the African world, and being recognized and accepted as a Muslim and as a brother? I don't believe in any form of racism. I don't believe in any form of discrimination or segregation. I believe in Islam. I'm a Muslim. And there's nothing wrong with being, being a Muslim. Nothing wrong with the religion of Islam that just teaches us to believe in Allah as the God and those of you who are Christians probably believe in the same God. Because I think you believe in the God who created the universe and that's the one we believe in, the one who created the universe. White man, your friend, took your only language away from you during slavery. The only language you know is his language, you know, your friend's language. So you call him, you call for the same God he calls for. When he's putting a rope around your neck, you call for God, and he calls for God. And you, and you wonder why the one you call on never answers you. Alhamdulillah. 
اللهم لك الحمد حمدا كثيرا طيبا مبارك يا الله بليتني يا رب في المرض قلت لك الحمد لله أسرت ابني وقلت لك الحمد لله استشهد ابني وقلت لك الحمد لله وها الله وهل من مزيد برضه الحمد لله حتى ترضى حتى ترضى يا الله أنت تريد وأنا أريد Any questions?